Now here with us to discuss all the latest updates in the Forming Coalition and more is former MK and founder and CEO of Yad Laolim, Rabbi Dov Lipman. Good to have you with us again. Good to be with you, Amit. So there are not very many posts left for the Likud, which is the biggest party and leader of the coalition. There is some numbling. Are they right to be upset? There's no doubt that as you walk around the Knesset, here I am right now, there are sour faces on many of the Likud MKs who expected to have more prominent positions that are left for them. Netanyahu's challenge right now and the dance that he's going to have to do is to try to find enough positions for these uh, prominent senior MKs to make sure that they're satisfied and won't cause him problems throughout the term of this government and Knesset. It's not going to be a simple challenge and an issue for him to solve, but if there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly Netanyahu and let's also remember, these are not these are members who are up for primaries in the future. They don't want to be seen as in any way hurting the Likud. So somehow or another, things tend to work out. We have uh, Miri Regev being the top woman in the Likud. Nir Barkat is considered to be the future of the party. And Yoav Galant is certainly a man of uh, security. What ministries are they likely to get? Would it being almost certain Galant becoming the new uh, defense minister? Yeah, it does seem very sure that Yoav Gallant will be defense minister. But remember, even that position is being stripped of some of the powers that it has for other coalition partners. Uh, he's the only one that seems to be sure in that place. You mentioned Miri Regev. People are talking about Nir Barakat, who former mayor of Jerusalem. It's very unclear exactly which positions they will get. I know that they certainly want positions that have more budgets, more powers, more ability for them to move up themselves uh, politically. But it's not so clear right now that they'll be satisfied with what comes in the end. Again, these next few days leading up to Thursday will be the critical days where we find out exactly which portfolios they'll get. That will be interesting for sure. Rabbi Lippmann, you are a Knesset member from Yashati. They're now heading into the opposition. There is now so much negativity towards the government that hasn't even taken office. Don't they deserve a grace uh, period from the opposition? Well, first of all, just for clarity, at this point, I'm completely apolitical. I'm not a member of any political party and I'm very happy to be apolitical and be able to just work to help Olim and, and uh, policies that impact Olim. Uh, it's typical in this building for the opposition to come out firing. That's the way it always is. And you always wish that it wouldn't be that way. One of the reasons why I enjoy not being in politics is I don't have to be part of all of the mud slinging back and forth. But that is the role of the opposition in a system like we have, the parliamentary system. It is to attack the government, to find some kind of fissures if they can in the government, try to find some way to break the government. That is their official role. And what I'd like to see the opposition generally being supportive of the government when there are issues that are clearly for the benefit of all of Israel, I certainly would want to see it that way. The one thing that I can tell you, though, is we've managed to bring everyone together on the issue of Aliyah and Olim and looking forward to a coalition agreement that has lots of good policies and benefits to help the Aliyah process and Olim once they get here. But we have to find those issues where we can't bring them together. They're far and few between. Uh, well, you are the head of the important organization for new immigrants. How do you think the new government will impact newcomers uh, to the country, to Israel? We've been meeting with the incoming government uh, from the moment that the election results were announced, and we've been presenting to them some of the challenges and the issues facing a potential Olim in the Aliyah process, and also Olim once they arrive in Israel. For the most part, we have found uh, members of Knesset who are very willing and interested uh, to get involved. The incoming minister, Ophir Sofir, uh, definitely willing to try to make policy changes uh, that will help. And most importantly, there will finally be an Aliyah committee in the Knesset, where all the wonderful organizations organizations that are working to try to help Olim will be able to come and present the issues and will be able to work together uh, to make changes. Uh, I know that you're going to have the next item is about all of the Olim that have come over the past year. It's a remarkable time and hopefully the government together with the organizations and certainly we at Yad Olim are up for the challenge. will work together to really make the Aliyah experience getting to Israel as smooth as possible and certainly to help the Olim once they get here. And we do have a listening ear within the government. Rabbi Dov Lipman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.